Mr. Anthony Innes, the Honorable Premier, Premier of the Cayman Islands, the Honorable Alden McLaughlin and Mrs. McLaughlin, and Her Excellency the Governor, Mrs. Helen Kilpatrick. Please remain standing. The arrival of Her Excellency Mrs. Helen Kilpatrick. Please remain standing for the symbolic arrival and departure of the Sovereign.
and the band will now play God Save the Queen. Excellency, we now lead three chairs to Her Majesty the Queen. Please remain standing for the symbolic departure of the sovereign. remain standing. We now call on Pastor Patrick Powell to say a prayer for Her Majesty. This morning across the United Kingdom, a moment of silence was observed during the Queen's birthday celebrations in honor of those impacted by the succession of terrible tragedies which the country has witnessed. Please remain standing as we observe a minute of silence and a spirit of solidarity with the people of the United Kingdom. Let us pray. Almighty God, maker of the heavens, the earth, the seas, and all that is in them, the one in whom we live and move and have our being, I call on you in the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, the righteous Son of God, who loved us and gave himself for us, so that by his death and resurrection we may receive forgiveness for our sins, the promise of eternal life, access to your throne of grace, and adoption into your family, all through faith in him. In your holy word, we read where we are instructed to pray for our leaders, to intercede for those who are in positions of authority, to show them honor and respect as those who serve under your ultimate authority. And that is what we intend to do today. We pray, Lord, for Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth, especially on the occasion of her 91st birthday celebration. We thank you for her life, and for the honorable way she has conducted herself over the many years that she has occupied the throne of the English royal family. We ask you to continue to bless and keep her by your grace and that you bless her family to preserve and protect them and cause them to know you, the one true and living God and Jesus Christ who you sent, that they would know and do your will. We also pray for the government leaders of these Cayman Islands, especially for Her Excellency, Governor Helen Kilpatrick, for the Honorable Premier, Alden McLaughlin, for the Speaker, Honorable Makiba Bush, for Opposition Leader, the Honorable Ezra Miller, 
along with all those who serve in various capacities within the government. Bless them, each and every one, we pray. Lord, we ask that you give them humility of heart and mind and unity of purpose in their work. Please grant them knowledge, understanding, and wisdom to do what is right before you and what is in the best interest of this country, all according to your good purpose and will. Your word says that blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. O oh God, may that be true of the Cayman Islands, that you have founded upon the seas for your glory. Finally, we exalt you, the Most High God, for from you, through you, and to you are all things. There is none like you, O oh Lord. You alone are God of the nations, and to you alone belongs our glory, honor, and praise, now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Powell. Please remain standing at attention for the singing of the national song by Miss Annika Connolly, accompanied by Mr. Niall Arana on violin. <coughs> the color party will now place the, form, the flags on the platform.
be seated. We will now have the presentation of honors and awards by Her Excellency the Governor. Recipients will be called by Deputy Governor, the Honorable Franz Manderson. Good morning. Presentations of honors and awards. Recipients, as I call your name, please come forward to receive your honor. To be a member of the most excellent order of the British Empire, MBE, Mr. Charles Wesley Wattler, for services to the Cayman Islands community. This honor was announced on the 11th of June, 2016. Mr. Wattler's sponsors are Mr. Anthony Eden and Mr. Heber Arch. Sponsors are former recipients of an award that is equivalent to or higher than an MBE. Please give Mr. Wattler applause. <laughs> Certificate and badge of honor, Mr. Philip Augustus Rankin for services to the financial services industry and to the Cayman Areas Board. Certificate and Badge of Honor from Mr. Keith Parker Tibbetts, Jr. for services to the development of the Cayman Island Disability Policy and Law.
certificate and badge of honor for Mrs. Frances Mary McConvey for services to education, the arts, and the Cayman Islands community. Ladies and gentlemen, these are our, our recipients of the 2017 Queen's Birthday Honours. Please give them another round of applause. Thank you, Deputy Governor. That concludes the formal ceremony as we celebrate the 91st birthday of our sovereign head, Queen Elizabeth II. Please now stand for the official departures beginning with Her Excellency the Governor, Mrs. Helen Kilpatrick. standing for the departure of the Premier of the Cayman Islands, the Honorable Alden McLaughlin and Mrs. McLaughlin. And now the departure of Acting Commissioner of Police, Mr. Anthony Ennis. <coughs> That's the end of our program. Thank you for joining us here today for our Queen's birthday honors, and we wish her a happy 91st birthday. The celebrations will continue with a garden party at the governor's residence directly after. <laughs>